Right, let's have a look. Who can we talk to? Hey, hang on. We won't do that. We'll look at the report card. Is there anyone we've started progress on already? Him we probably can't talk to. You know what? Let's get some Bioka time. Leon we can't talk to. Fumi, uh, don't really want to talk to him. Yusuru. Kyoko, yeah, she's good to talk to. Let's just check that we don't want to talk to anyone else. Actually, Ki we could do Kyoko and... Actually, no, Boyaka. Yeah, Boyaka and Kyoko. Right. Those are our two that we are working on now. Right, not there. Not there. Not there. Right, she's there. Where's he? Right, okay. So, physics lab we'll go to first. Right, uh, where is she? Oh, there she is. I have to put all my energy into watching out for myself. I don't have any time to worry about anyone else. Hmm, so I talk to. <laughs> okay. Correct. You want to spend some time with me? However. But I don't have anything to say. You okay with that? I spent some time with Kyoko in silence. Kyoko and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Kyoko a present? Sure. What would you like to give her? Right, so mineral water, that would... Actually, let's leave mineral... Okay, so that's... Those two... Uh, those two are Celeste. That's... Um, Hina and Sakura. Potato chips. Black croissant. I don't even know what that is. Sunflower seeds and now. Hope's peak ring, God of War charm, glasses, Jimmy Decay hand bra, shears, tumbleweed, and ending. Fuck it, let's give it up. So... This is something you don't see too often. Do you mind if I keep it? I'd just like to take a closer look at it. Does that mean she likes it? Are you scared, Makoto? Huh? Hey. Being trapped in a place like this. Who... Who wouldn't be? Of course I'm scared, being trapped in this insane Correct. school. Ah, that's good. That's good? So... Fear is proof that your imagination is functioning. Frankly, I feel bad for anyone who can't feel fear. Ooh. Without imagination, you can never choose which action to come next. To take next. But what about you? You seem totally calm. You don't act afraid wow. at all. I'm scared too, of course. I simply hid, hide my emotions. There's no advantage to being gained from letting others see how we feel. You hide? Huh. Correct. What I mean is I'm not as foolishly open as you are. Foolishly open? Also, the fear I experience is a little different from yours, I imagine. Huh? What do you mean? So... You're afraid of what you might lose, right? Correct. But I'm afraid of what I've already lost. I'm sorry? I don't understand. I know. She didn't bother answering any further. She Goodbye. just turned and... That she was gone. Well, we're still just getting to know each other. Maybe we'll talk more next time. I don't think I understand her at all yet. Maximum number of skill points has gone up. Even though we don't need them at the moment. Because we haven't got enough skills to fill them. Once we're all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. Right, where's Bioka? Well, still got some time. Ding dong. Huh? Sounds like someone's here. So we don't have free time. Bollocks. T-Tanker! 
Is it true? Can I really see... See your hero? Huh? You mean Ota Ia? He's... Still alive? M no. Not quite. Let me see. I want to... Talk to him. T Taka. The way he is now, there's no way I can explain what's going on to him. Kyoko said we're not allowed to use Ota Ia. But, even so... I can't just leave him here like this. Okay, why don't we get going? Alright, let's go do it. We're gonna go take him. Just a second. Where are you going? Huh? Hey. It's probably best I don't if you don't drag him around with you too much, given his current condition. Kyoko looked at Taka standing behind me. Y yeah, I know that. But I was getting hung kinda hungry, I thought we could head to the dining hall or warehouse or something. Well then, I guess that's okay. I thought I saw a brief, a brief flicker of doubt, but maybe it was just my imagination. I would have told her, said he really needs to, it might happen. Okay, so there's a laptop inside the locker, understand? And on the laptop, there's a program called Alter Ego. How do I talk to him? Uh, oh, um... Can we just tell me what you want to say and I'll type it for in for you. Do you hate Mondo? And since I couldn't stop him, do you hate me? It was clear he was forcing himself to get the words out. No, nope. I like you both. It's the other tool that I never fucking hear I don't like. From his mouth, from the bottom of his heart, he forced his weakened voice to make the sounds. Actually, Bianca, I don't know. He's, eh. Uh... Actually, no, I don't like him. Fuck him. But I feel like he's going to give us the best, like, skills. And, um, oh, fuck, what's the name? Kiyotoko? No. Oh, shit, what's the name? Kiyoko, there we go. Kiyoko and Byako, I think, are going to give us the best skills. Please. Uh, okay. I type the questions exactly as Taiko has asked them. And then... Do you hold yourself responsible? But... If Master could talk now, I don't think this is what he would say. Please leave your life for the both of us. It's impossible for me now, but you can still survive and escape all of you. Wait, hang on. Did he ask a question? And I skipped over it? Not that. F2. Oh, okay, never mind. Hey, Taka. I was about to say more, but quickly closing my mouth. The one who is... The one asking questions is Taka, right? Analyzing all available ba data, that's the only conclusion I can come to. Mazda tell me how close Taka and Mondo have become. So that must be why he feels responsible. The screen suddenly went dark. And what appeared next was... Mondo! You're not letting yourself get crushed under the weight of that responsibility, are you? A man's only worth as much as the load he can carry. You get it, right, bro? Hell, what am I saying? Of course you do. What? So. I I'm sorry if I startled you. That was my attempt at a simulation using the data about Mondo the master had given me. I figured if Taka was depressed, that's the kind of thing Mondo would have said no. to him. So you're just gonna stand there, huh? Just wait for things to get better. Just take your time and get all depressed. Take the time to indulge your regrets. You might even stop walking again without realizing it. Sure, that kind of medicure thinking might work for some people. What if I said it with more consenting tone? Consenting tone. <laughs> Taka. Oh fuck, he's going super sane. It's starting to sink in. To pay a bucket of water, water sinks into a bone dry sponge. Huh? Those words deep within my heart. They're inside of me. Yep, Super Saiyan. That's Taka! Who the fudge is Taka? Let's get right into the news. Y your eyes! Hey, don't worry about it. Guess I just kinda 
Guess I just kind cause. Oh fuck. Guess I cause kind of a scene, huh? Shoot, man. And your voice. I'm a new me. I'm totally stuffed for fighting spirit now, you dumb bird. Uh, okay, Taka, just calm down. I am calm. And don't call me Taka. That's that's not my name anymore. It's I'm me. I am me. Well, hi me. Hope you're doing all right, me. Taka, that out. Bone chilling. How and ran out of the room. Hey, Taka, hold on. And I took off after him, but someone stood in my way. As if tagging Taka out, she walked briskly and brisk, into the dressing room. Briskly into the dressing room. What do you think you're doing? Um, oh, um, no, see, this is just... Don't go around doing whatever you feel like. It causes problems, and not just for me, for everyone. Sorry. If you're really sorry, you'll get out of here. Now. Uh, okay. Finally, I headed back to my room, embarrassed and all of a sudden. Do we still have free time? Please, I would like free time. But still, what was with Taka's sudden freak out? I'm seriously worried about him. Yep, night time. By the way, I want to talk to him now that he's super sane. This is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the... Okay, then. It's night time already. I guess I'll just have to wait till tomorrow to figure out Taka's whole thing. For now, time for some sleep. So, uh, you know what I said someone died last night? Guess I was wrong, huh? You wanna know why I hate video games even though I'm in one? He might not believe it was probably the best friend once. Actually, he was my only friend, but unlike me, he had all kinds of friends. So me and him were at his house one day. One day when a big group of guys showed up to hang out. They just brought a latest big bunch of video games. They sat there lost in the game, passing the controller back and forth for hours. Not me. I just sat there watching. That's right, I just watched. What's wrong with that? I didn't care. Just by watching, I was able to lay down all the best strategies. Even though I actually never and actually I don't played plan it. On ever playing it in the future either. Good morning, everyone! It is back yet ready to- mm. Alright, I need to hurry up and get to the dining hall. I need to tell everyone what happened with Taki yesterday. I doubt what you do. They've probably noticed that he's a bit super sane. Or chaos version of Sonic. Yo, I've been waiting. Huh? You the only one here? Was everyone else? They went on ahead. Went on ahead? To where? Hey, come on. We can talk about it later. For now, let's go take a bath. Bath. Alter ego. Someone help! Uh, Fumi, what's going on? Makoko, save me! I've never asked you. You for anything, but I'm asking now. What happened? She she's trying to kill me. For me, point to that. Huh? Kyoko's trying to kill you. What are you up to? I never said I was going to kill him. I simply asked him a question. I'd like to know why he made the same mistake twice. Same mistake? What did he do? He snuck into the dressing room in the middle of the night and accessed Alter Ego without permission. When I called him last night, he was hugging his laptop and breathing strangely. Huh? Well, what are you doing? Why is there white on the laptop? I thought I made it myself clear yesterday, but since being settled in work, I suppose I have to clarify myself further. Please don't kill me! 
I'm not going to kill you, merely instruct oh, you. Very sad. Oh, I thought he was gonna go, oh, fair enough. <laughs> I'm gone then, it's shrugged. What? I just want to hear him explain himself. Okay, fine. Um, Hufumi, can you... Um, Hufumi, could you, could you tell me what actually well, happened? Well, well, I guess... I was just trying to talk it. Which was prohibited, was it not? I, I mean, you see... Talking her is just so much fun! I just... just... Um... Whoa, okay, time out. I can't even believe I'm about to ask this, but... Hufumi, you're not going to tell us you fell in love or something, are you? <laughs> <laughs> that I, the cold bloody killing machine of the underworld, will never fall in love? Well, That's... Wait. Seem... No way. Is... Is this love? According to the spirits... Is this love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. I happen to do a psychic reading of a certain famous CEO once. And that sick guy was seriously head over heels for a man again. He had a wedding and everything. He also technically raped her because I'd sex without consent. And your eyes just now. I saw the same way. I saw the same look in his eyes. Sh shut up! She's not a mannequin, she's an angel! And don't bother telling me angels don't exist. Or the way I have can't be defined by all pretty words. Uh, yeah, you're totally in love. So how do things end up like this? Well, he's 2D. I just want to hear her say master one more. Oh, you sick fuck. But then I was poking around the uh, settings. Oh, okay. And stuff, and sure she was, well, a outside program. And it was like, how can I say? Virtual porn. That was the first time I, I was able to talk like that with a normal girl. But she's definitely not a normal girl. But... Even when we did all we did, even when all we did was talk about my hobbies and stuff, she was annoyed or disgusted or anything. <laughs> Your stories are so interesting, Hufumi. Come on, tell me more. I want to learn everything you have to teach me. I suppose. That's the first time a girl's ever said anything like that to me. Besides my mum, I mean. Hey. Your mom says stuff like that too. It's kind of amazing all by itself. It's like that's why I was just so happy. It was so much fun. And before I knew it, I found myself, you know, liking her. Her face, her personality, her voice, even her keyboard. No. Even the keyboard? I think he put his dick in the keyboard. Somehow, or slivered it to bed, then he. Maybe no, USB too small. I think I have misunderstood the situation, Are you okay for me. With this? Alter Ego was not interested in who you were. It was interested in what you knew. It is not. It is an official art intelligence. It exists to learn. Of course, it wanted to hear things it did not know. You are an expert in many things, Jihiro. Could not have taught him. Could taught it about. For what it is worth. Otto Ego wants that information. That is I all. That. I I know, but I mean, I don't know that, but still. And you say it's totally hopeless, or. You gotta be freaking kidding me! Oh shit, that's. Okay. Hey, you jerks! I'm sitting here listening to you guys jibber jabber on about whatever! Uh, Taka, are you back? Who the hell's Taka? Um, you. Last time I checked. Listen up, I'm me, got it! What the heck? Huh? You're here. What? Don't bullcrap me, isn't it obvious? I'm Keo Takamondo, so like, Keondo, I guess. I'm gonna stick a banana up your tailpipe! What the, what the heck kind of fusion is this? What's happened to you, Taka? Uh, actually, I told everyone what happened the day before. Well. So because what even Otto Ego said to him. Are you sure it's Otto Ego's fault? Maybe Mando's ghost showed up and possessed him. Look at ghost, there's no such thing. 
What are you still whining about? Come on! God, you're really chasing me off! Hey, Vumi! Yes? Yeah. I don't know what you're thinking, but Bro belongs to me! Huh? Yeah. Oh, Tarigo, he's an exact copy of the one who gave my soul back! And I'm not gonna let anyone have him ever again, fudge an idiot! I'm afraid I can't allow that. What? I can't withdraw! Make sure tomorrow, since I have this opportunity, you just will say this right now. Destiny has bound me and I'm her together in the golden light of two love. Well, me and him have been mounted together in white hot heat of friendship. Uh, hey, come on, you guys. Moron, talk down to me and I'll ram my fist right into all four of your vital points. Well, I punch him to be the sound. I also run around at the speed of the sound. So places to go and I don't have any arm hair to get you dry. Knock it off, both hey. of you. This doesn't belong to any one person. Jihiro left him to all of us. We can use him to finally gain access to vital clues. Kyoko's right, if anyone dares disturb our peace any further, they'll have to deal with me! What? Anyway. Until Alter Ego has finished his work, don't do anything weird. Have I made myself clear? So? I can't hear you. I suppose. Y y yes. Yeah. G got it! So then. Okay then, let's get out of here. We can't afford to linger too long. Are you sure it's okay? Are you sure it's okay to let him off of a warning? Yes, I have a plan. It'll be fine. 